morning, Mark Isfeld, and welcome to Season 4, Episode 2 of Mark Isfeld Television. Your anchor, Nikki Riddy, is not with us tonight. There have been rumors that she may be getting a full back tattoo of Jack Nicholson surfing. However, at this point, nothing has been confirmed. Due to a lack of segments this week from our cast, we're going to go take a look at how people are handling Nikki's absence in the school. Let's go. We're here with Nikki's uncle, Vladimir Smith. Vladimir, what are some of your favorite memories of The Departed? Well, Inigo Montoya, we would always back on the farm, go fishing, and I'd always teach her how to find her spirit there, and we'd watch mosquitoes mate in the sunset. If you could have her back for just one day, if you could see her one more time, what, what would you tell her, Vladimir? Well, I would just tell her just to keep on believing and uh, trust your heart and just keep on looking for that spirit bear, Nikki. We're going to take a heritage tour of the school to see some of the departed's favorite... Oh, here's your ex-fiancé. Let's just... Can I talk to you? Can I... I'm here with Nikki's ex-fiancé, Desmond Le Pievre. Now, Desmond, what kind of guy are you? I'm a pretty serious guy. We're here to talk to you about The Departed, Nikki Riddy. From what I understand, Desmond, your breakup is pretty harsh. Do you, do you want to tell me about it? Well, it happened many moons ago. I was just a wee sapling. She was just a young dove prancing on the sparkling waters of youth's eternity. Where did you guys meet? Well, to be honest, we met at the uh, singles mixer at the Chubby Hiker Hostel in downtown Courtney. After that, we had many very meaningful dates at the Pit a Pit across the road. Favorite was always the uh, spicy chili finger wrap with barbecue baby sauce. Um, I, I don't know if this is too <laughs> too far to go right now, but would you mind telling me about your your breakup? <laughs> Well, it happened at the uh, Hamster Olympics in 2008. It was at the rec center in Cumberland. I was mildly intoxicated. I had three vodka daiquiris. They served them at the children's table. I didn't know any better. She kicked me in the leg. I entered a world of pain. <laughs> Your shampoo smells really nice. Well, there you have it, Marcus Fold. No one's handling Nikki's absence very well. Back to you, me. She's in a greener pasture now. A moment of silence for the departed. What are you guys doing in here? Silly monkey, you! You guys aren't supposed to be here. Now back to your cages like Alex said. Come on! Oh, come on, you! You're so cute! Oh, come on! Okay, oh, thank you. Oh, gosh. on Friday. Let's go take a look. I'm here with Jessica. Jessica, are you ready for your football game against Vandy on Friday? Volleyball? Oh. How awkward. Now, sir, if you look inside, you'll see that they're playing volleyball. Do you think this is proper training for the football game on Friday? No, probably not.
So I guess that's it for preparation this week. That's procrastination for you. Something I should probably work on. <laughs> Back to you, Nix. So that pretty much sums up how Isfeld's preparing for the game against Vanier on Friday. Uh, next up we have Nikki. Take it away, Nix. Yeah! As you all have probably heard, the grad fashion show theme this year is Cirque du Soleil. Now I'm going to go look for local talent to be in this production. As you can see, Isfeld looks creative from the outside. But is it really from the inside? Let's go take a closer look. I'm on the lookout for students with a lot of circus talent. <sighs> can no one fit into little boxes? It looks like I found our first act of the fashion show. Honestly, this woman can fit inside this garbage can. Seriously, take a look. <laughs> Dude, I swear they were there a minute ago. Yeah. Nix, you forgot your mask. Oh. Dude, what the heck? I'm Eli. I'm so tall and I'm not wearing any pants and I don't know why. Thanks, Cass. Alright, so stay tuned for next week when the circus search continues. Stay frosty, Mark Isfeld.